auto linking items in monday.com. Many people think it is impossible. Well, in this video, firstly, I'm gonna show you that it is in fact possible and two, how to do it. But I must warn you, this is quite complicated and I'm gonna do my absolute best to distill the information down to its simplest form, but it may still seem a bit confusing. So you may have to watch this video a couple of times. Anyway, I'm gonna head straight over to monday.com. As you can see, I'm in my example monday.com system, okay? What I wanna do, is I want to automatically link an item in board number one to an item in board number two based on the unique reference numbers matching. So you can see in board number one, we've got unique reference number column and in board number two, we have a unique reference number column. If an item is either created or the unique reference number matches the unique reference number in any of these boards, they connect to one another. So you have to set this up on a board by board basis. So we're just gonna do board one connecting to board two. So if the unique reference number from an item in board number one matches a unique reference number in board number two, then the items automatically connect to one another via a connection column. If you're not familiar with connection columns, have a look at the link above. So how do we do this? Well, we've got, like I said, we've got a couple of options upon item creation and upon the changing of the, um, the column. So. I'm gonna walk you through item creation first. So do bear in mind that if you're doing it by item creation, you can't do item creation as in a sense, item creation, and then add the unique reference number. That's the second logic that I'll show you in this video, okay? But item creation is literally all of the data gets populated at the same time. And in order to do that, you'd have to either have an automation from another board that moves the data over to board number one, or through a form internally on monday.com or an external, um, source such as middleware, Zapier, or anything else that integrates, okay? So how do we set this up? We need to go to automate in the top right-hand corner, and then as opposed to going to add automation, we need to go to templates. And then on templates, go to categories on the far left-hand side, and go to item creation. Scroll down, there is a long old list of options here, but we are looking for one in particular, and that is this one. When an item is created in this board, connect the item where the column matches this column in another board by this logic, and it's obvious that it's this one because it says beta. This is a new feature that's become available. Well, relatively new. So select this option. And then the first thing we need to do is select another board. So which board are we connecting to? So in this case, we're connecting board number one to board number two. So I'm just going to select that option now. Board number two. There we go. And then we need to go ahead and connect. So that's the connection column on board number one with board number two. So just use that column. And then we need to select this column matches this column. So this column being unique reference number matches this column unique reference number. And then you can change the logic if you want to. I'm not going to touch this. You don't have to touch this, by the way. And then just go ahead and press add to board. So there we have it. We've now created an automation that says when an item is created in board number one and unique reference number matches an item with unique reference number in board number two, then automatically connect the two. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you in this video. So 988-98823 is the unique reference number that I want to copy for example number one. And then I'm going to go back to board number one. And I've kindly prepared a form <laughs> in advance. Um, and this form is very basic. It just says unique reference number. But I can go ahead and paste this, press the submit button. That's going to automatically create a new item on board number one with the unique reference number. And as you can see, this is automatically linked with the item 9898823 on board number two. That's it. Super, super clever. Okay. So this can become really, really powerful. This is an overview. There are so many nuanced use cases for this. Um, so whatever you want to be doing with this, I hope you can apply it with the uh, information I provided in this video. So that's item creation. The alternative is when data changes. So we've got a couple of options. I'm gonna walk you through that now. So we need to go to automate in the top right-hand corner again, go to templates, but as opposed to item creation, we need to go to status change and then scroll all the way down again. And we've got two options here. We've got when column changes, connect to the item where the new value matches this column in another board. So when that's essentially saying when the unique reference number column changes, find an item in board number two that matches and connect. So that's one option. The alternative option is when column changes, which could be any column, for example, status, email, anything, then connect the item where this column, unique reference number, matches another column 
in another board by this logic. So this is this is essentially the difference between when the unit reference number changes versus when a status changes or something else, then use the unit reference number as the match. So this is one step removed. This is one step closer. So this is more efficient. And this is the and this is what I'm going to show you in this video. You can experiment with this. In fact, I might show you how this works in this video very quickly as well. So let's just go with this one to start with. When column changes, so we first need to select another board. So that's board number two. And then when column being unique reference number changes, use the connection column that we've got set up matches this column unique reference number. So when unique reference number in board number one changes, connect this item where the new value matches unique reference number in board number two by this logic. Again, you don't need to touch the logic if you don't want to, and then just go ahead and press add to board. And there we have it. So what will happen now is if I go to board number two, example number two, and copy this, and then go to board number one, you see we've got item creation, nothing's connected. If I just command paste this and press enter, this will find and hopefully will then connect, as you can see here successfully, with example number two in board number two. If I remove this, by the way, the connection is also automatically removed, I believe. There we go. Yes. So there we go. So that's number two. I'm actually going to add an example number three for this video. So everyone is familiar with the options available and what I'm talking about. And then let's do, there we go. So that's our third unique reference number. So now our third automation option is, which I was just explaining. We go to automate again and go to templates, status changes, scroll all the way down. And then go when column changes, connect the item where this column matches another column. So when column being the status, for example, or anything else, when anything changes. I'm gonna do status just for the example of this video. When status changes, and then we need to go select another board, so board number two again, and then connection column, board number two, and then this column being unique reference number, and this column being unique reference number. So it's one step removed when status changes or any other column changes, then connect the item where unique reference number matches unique reference number in board number two by this logic. Again, logic doesn't need to change. The one annoying thing about this is it's blanket when status changes. It's not when status changes to a specific value, which is frustrating, but we can't have everything in life, unfortunately, it seems. <laughs> so if we press add to board now, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a new item, uh, example or item creation two, there we go. And then I'm gonna add in, uh, what I need to do quickly is just turn these other two off. <laughs> before this all gets very confusing. So what I'm gonna do is add in unique reference number, the third unique reference number. So that is 78823, command C and command V. Nothing is gonna happen. It's not gonna connect, no connections will be made. However, because we told the automation that when the status changes to then find an item in board number three that matches the unique reference number of board number one or item number one. So I'll change this to working on it. It should then automatically go ahead and find, and there we have it it works. So I know this is very confusing. It may seem very confusing. I'm really hoping this provides a great deal of insight into the power of monday.com, automatically linking items and the use of unique reference numbers. I cannot recommend enough having unique reference numbers for every single board in your monday.com system, just because it allows us to do stuff like this. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you need any help setting up monday.com for your business, check out the link below. We'd be delighted to help. But thank you very much for your time and I'll hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.